The spirit of Australia is soaring on the back of a record $976 million half-year profit. Despite its earnings, Qantas will still avoid company tax. Boss Alan Joyce today asked to justify not paying. Just four years ago, some wondered if Qantas could survive. It lost $2.8 billion in 2014. And because of that loss, it still pays no tax on record profits today. We haven't paid company tax because of those tax losses. We will be paying it if this performance continues next year. But the Qantas boss is adamant. The airline is pulling its weight. We contribute $3.2 in other taxes. Taxes on tickets, payroll taxes, stamp duties. It's quite significant. He's joined a chorus of business and government that wants Australia to follow Donald Trump and America down a path of lower taxes. We need to make sure that businesses here in Australia are not disadvantaged. We're very pro-Australia, you know, we're the national carrier, we're the spirit of Australia. We want this country to succeed. But it's only a short time ago that Qantas had to cut hard to go forward. 5,000 people did lose their jobs. But, but that was important to get us on a solid footing. That was important to protect the 30,000 jobs that were still in the company. Those cuts came after the pilot strike in 2011, when Alan Joyce controversially grounded the airline, which makes its latest initiative ironic in the least. Boeing estimates that the world needs around 640,000 new pilots over the next 20 years. So Qantas is getting into a new business, training pilots. It will train up to 500 new pilots every year, and not just for the airline itself. What do you reckon? Yeah. yeah. We've hired 600 pilots in the last two years, 350 this year, over 2,000 people in total across the group. And Qantas needs those pilots as demand for air travel grows. The only airline in the world that's pushing for an aircraft ability to fly from Sydney to London and Melbourne to London non-stop. And competition keeps airfares affordable for passengers. You look at airfares over the last decade and airfares have typically come down uh, by 20 to 25%. Ross Greenwood, Nine News.